What does severe depression feel like? The world goes on around you. While you don't feel like moving, you still have a job, obligations, school, but all you want to do is fall deeply asleep and never wake up. You hate yourself and assume everyone else does too. You have no motivation to do anything. The sadness sits on your back like a bag of rocks that you can't take off. A heavy ache on your shoulders like none other. This. There's also a growing sense of disconnection from the world around you. Like it's trying to reject you. And any attempt to take a step forward blows up in your face. Everything is negative, and you can't relate anymore. You're just going through the emotions. And the only clear is emotion is anger about how your life sucks. And cripplingly deep despair at ever to getting out of that hole. When I had it, I felt nothing. Like, seriously nothing. And it was way worse than feeling the worst sadness one can feel. I woke up in the morning and had suicidal thoughts before I could even realize I was awake. Life was completely meaningless. It was hell. I wasn't really aware that this was what people were talking about when they said they had depression until I got perinatal depression with my first kid and holy shit. I didn't want to eat, shower, wake up, let alone go to work or talk to people. I remember a moment on my couch, having to pee, and the thought of having to walk all the way to the bathroom seemed like climbing Everest compared to just pissing myself right there. And then I thought I could just stay here forever. There is no reason to leave the couch. It was one of the most surreal moments of my life, because I hadn't had that total lack of dopamine long enough to forget what it used to feel like. Depression doesn't fuck around. For me it's just emptiness. You wake up and you don't want to do anything. You can't get the motivation to get anything done and nothing sounds fun to you. When you do try to do something fun, it's hard to get engaged and it's not fun or interesting. It's exhausting to talk with friends but you still want and need their presence. Then all in between this is the guilt of not having done anything productive. It's hard to feel any sense of happiness and eventually you want to hurt yourself just to feel something. You yearn for death but can't bring yourself to that place. You yearn for death but can't bring yourself to leave your children without a father. Just complete hopelessness that things can get better. I stopped thinking about the future or making any plans. I realized there was nothing I was looking forward to. Stop playing video games. I slept for like 11 hours a day and laid around with a TV on without really watching it and my body hurt all the time. It's a disease and it's real. I honestly think chronic depression is one of those things that, if you haven't had it yourself, you can't fully understand it. I think the biggest thing is the complete lack of interest in anything. Again, I think it's hard to grasp if you've never done it. But imagine something in your past that you used to love. But at some point you just stop liking tea and feeling that connection. Now apply that to literally everything. No television shows or movies to enjoy. Walks on the beach or just getting from one place to another. When you talk to others, there's no connection there. It's being that kind of bored where you just sit there frustrated with nothing to do. But that's your entire existence. That leads to a constant sense of loathing. You can only enjoy nothing for so long before you have no more positive emotions. It's inevitable. You wake up knowing that you are going to have no fun. No good moments. Nothing to interest you. Constant sadness and nothingness until you go to bed knowing that tomorrow is going to be exactly the same. Also, chronic depression manifests in ways that people don't expect. Often you want to spend all day in bed but don't actually sleep. Try to think about what staying in bed for more than 23 hours a day is like when you barely sleep for any of that. You care so little about anything that your actual physical body is the same, you can go without eating for days because your body just never gets hungry. You don't brush your hair and it ends up matted against your head etc. I have this weird thing where when I'm really depressed, I can't even speak properly at all. It's like someone talks to me. I can physically hear what they're saying. I comprehend it but on the other hand I don't. 
It's like there's some sort of wall there and I don't absorb anything that anyone's saying for even a second. Something as simple as someone saying hello. And because of that delay I can't even speak back. I also have problems with language when my depression is at its worst I can hear people. But I have trouble comprehending what they're saying. It takes too much power and energy to verbalize my own thoughts. So I lose my vocabulary. I think of nothing. I lose my speech. And cannot write. I don't have sever depression anymore but when I did it was so mixed with anxiety it was often hard to tell the difference between the two. But most of what I felt was like a strong feeling of claustrophobia and this super severe panic. I needed to do anything to escape but I felt so dead, apathetic, and frozen by panic I couldn't. It's some seriously dark stuff and my heart goes out to anyone who has to deal with it. Like your soul has left you. It doesn't feel like anything. That's what makes it so destructive. You're just there, like completely indifferent, overwhelmed with the inability to do anything. You don't want to sleep, but you sleep. Then when you wake up, you just want to stay in bed forever. You don't want to go to work, but you drag yourself there and just go through the motions. You don't want to do anything when you're on free time. So you just sit and mindlessly exist and spiral further into that murk. You can't muster up excitement or joy towards things that used to make you feel good. It's just, you're there. It's different to everyone, so it's going to be a different definition to me. It feels like I'm trapped in a box, with no escape and I don't have emotions either. And it feels like the only way to get out of that box is to commit suicide. When you do have emotions, it's usually the ones that can trigger suicidal thoughts and make you think that there is no way to get out. But there is. But there is. You can't see it at the time but you have to know this one thing. Now. Call 911 regardless of who is in the house. Or present yourself to any kind of hospital and tell the monsieur if you can't stomach saying I want to kill myself then say I don't want to live like this anymore. Then, check yourself in and do what you are told. It can only get better from here. This is all you need to do. Then rest. It feels like you were thrown into the ocean with the weight of your mistakes shackled to your ankle and you fall to the bottom of the ocean so far that you can't see the sun anymore. Just empty and cold. Do you have intrusive thoughts about all your perceived mistakes? Yep. Combined with anxiety and all the rest that goes with depression. It felt like a big lump in my brain. This big useless unmoving thing that go in the way of everything. It affected how I learned. It felt like I couldn't manipulate things in my head because there wasn't enough room to move things around. I couldn't connect concepts because it was in the way. I affected how I perceived the world. Everything came through this muddy prism that distorted reality. Imagine living in a small studio apartment with a massive lump of concrete in the middle of it. I couldn't rearrange the furniture because there was only one place they would fit now. I could try new things because I couldn't fit them in. Things just got messier and the lump got bigger. Edit. If anyone is reading this and identifies with it things get better. They did for me. After a lot of work and a lot of failed attempts. My inbox is always open. For me it feels like the world is one big regret sequence. Like in media where a character goes to an alternate reality where they were never born in. Everyone is better off. I start seeing examples of it everywhere. Big ways and little ways that the people I care about would be happier. I don't feel sad about it. I don't feel anything other than acceptance that I'm an inconvenience, a speed bump, and nothing more. Then the intrusive thoughts come. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.